This video series will aim to introduce you to the Flora tools and the concepts behind them. Flora is a set of prototype tools designed to model foliage in a natural and realistic way. It was initially developed by George Hume, who defined the initial concept for Flora and then continued to be developed by Phycoposmus. Timmer Milch took on the brave job of using these prototype tools to develop the foliage for Project Pegasus, feeding back and using his experience to drive and help direct the development of the tools. The floor tools are a bit of a deviation from what you might have previously seen with Project Pegasus, as these don't represent a final product. As you might expect, tool development isn't a linear path, it's iterative, figuring out what works and what doesn't. So perhaps this is a bit more of a, a peek behind the curtain of tool development. We knew designing a foliage tool set from the ground up was going to be a massive undertaking. We also knew it was a worthwhile one. I hope that with these flora tools and videos we achieve a few different goals. The first is to demonstrate the potential for a powerful and flexible set of Houdini foliage tools. The second is to show how Houdini can be used to quickly prototype tools. The team collaborated to produce these tools over just a few short months and were used to produce the foliage as its for Project Pegasus. And lastly, to give you a bit of a glimpse at the tool development process, George, Fika, and Tillman all collaborated and worked together to prototype these tools, and you'll be hearing from each of them. In the first video, George will give a short introduction to his concept and vision for the Flora tools, and why he chose to take on the challenge of developing them. In the second video, Fika will provide a short technical introduction to the Flora tools, and how some of the fundamental Flora nodes function. In the third video, Tillman breaks down a production asset used in Project Pegasus. This was from early in the development of Project Pegasus, and because tool development isn't a straightforward path, Tillman provides an insight into how he used these prototype tools. In the last video, Tillman will go through a more in-depth look at the Flora tools, creating a more complex example, showcasing their flexibility for creating interesting and natural foliage, as well as explaining how Flora tools function in comparison to other foliage modeling solutions.